All right, what's up everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And it is January 21st, it's a Wednesday, 2015, and we are just a few short days, really five days away from the Royal Rumble uh, Sunday for just $9.99, if you get the WWE Network. And um, what I want to talk about today is not the Royal Rumble so much, but the ending of Monday Night Raw, where we saw Brock Lesnar come out, go after Seth Rollins, Big Show, and Kane in a way that, you know, we maybe somewhat expected him to do, but but didn't. Um, he went out there and destroyed everybody, except for Rollins, who ran away like a scared child, running up the ramp, looking back, just getting away with, um, you know, his security team of Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. And what we saw at the ending there was something very, very special. Now, here's the deal. You know, we know Brock Lesnar's contract ends at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar's been on Raw for the last few weeks to promote his WrestleMania match and the Royal Rumble match, which is now a triple threat, obviously, with John Cena and Seth Rollins. And the fans, you know, Lesnar has a lot of fans, even though he is a heel. But if Brock Lesnar would have or does sign a new contract with the WWE and turns face, this would change the whole complexion of the WWE totally. Brock Lesnar could be huge in the WWE as a baby face. Not to say that he's not big as a heel, but we saw, you know, after winning at SummerSlam last year, being at Night of Champions, and then being a no-show for the rest of the year on the pay-per-views, and now promoting the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, um, I think Brock Lesnar could really turn the WWE around in circles and really soar them way back to where the WWE, you know, is looking to be. And Brock Lesnar is the guy to do it. And as a baby face, uh, this would be, this would be so exciting because he, he would have a number of opponents to face as a face. And, uh, First and foremost would be obviously Seth Rollins and Big Show is, you know, not out of the question, nor is Kane because they've been involved in, you know, in the situation with Seth Rollins. And, you know, if the WWE were to sign Lesnar to another contract and he turned babyface, whether or not he has the belt, it could be a huge thing for the WWE. It would be a huge draw for the WWE. A much bigger draw than him being heel and win the belt. Uh, people love Brock Lesnar as a face. Now, this could also, you know, create a situation between Pete him and Paul Heyman. Um, maybe Paul Heyman could, you know, end up turning on Lesnar and, you know, leaning towards Seth Rollins which could build up a major feud at a pay-per-view down the road. Um, but all in all, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, chances are Lesnar will retain the title at the Rumble. It's not set in stone um, because they do have plans for Lesnar at WrestleMania. I think if Lesnar lost the belt at the Rumble, it could change the situation for him at Mania. But you never know what the WWE might pull out of their hat. I would really have no problem with Lesnar turning face, sticking around in the WWE, and even furthermore, turning face and still holding on to that belt. Now, this could change a lot of things at WrestleMania as far as who his opponent could be. You know, everybody's talking about Roman Reigns. Everybody's talking about possibly, you know, more than likely being Daniel Bryan. Or even they're talking about Dean Ambrose. But this could lead maybe to maybe a 
Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar match at WrestleMania? Would people want to see it more than maybe a heel Lesnar and Daniel Bryan? I don't know. But the WWE needs to start in directions that they haven't been in before, and they need to find out one way or another if the fans are going to accept it or not. And then they can move on from there. If you don't try it, you don't know. So it could be an interesting scenario. Chances are Lesnar probably will leave after, you know, um, WrestleMania. But I would love to see Lesnar, even now, go into the Rumble and maybe have, you know, some differences with Heyman, which there's been a little bit of conflict here and there. You know, in the last couple appearances by Lesnar and Heyman. And uh, Lesnar's also seen the communication between Heyman and Rollins, except for this past Monday night on Raw, where Heyman did defend Lesnar against Seth Rollins. Um, you know, obviously, the direction probably isn't going to change. But if Lesnar did, did turn babyface, I think it could be a whole new outlook for the WWE. Just a thought. Give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel, the AKA Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. We will be doing the Royal Rumble predictions soon. Everybody enjoy your Wednesday. Peace out. Have fun. Uh, you get the opportunity Watch the Royal Rumble. I've been watching a lot of old wrestling lately, like AWF and, and stuff like that. And, you know, just to fill my time, you know, I like going back and, and you know, seeing some of the old stuff and, and remembering some of the old stars that we don't hear of today. So it's been sort of fun and whatnot. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really been pretty cool. So um, with all that being said, again, enjoy your Wednesday. Peace out. Um, you get the opportunity also check out the la latest episode of Total Divas. It, Divas, it's it you know there's a lot of things in there that are realistic, and there's a lot of things on that show that are just for entertainment. But all in all, it's not a bad show to watch. It's it's actually sort of interesting. See y'all next time. This is the one and only Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel.